In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for AgNO3, silver 1 nitrate, often called just silver nitrate. Silver is a metal, and then nitrogen and oxygen, those are nonmetals. And in fact, they're bound tightly together in a polyatomic ion. So we have a metal and some nonmetals. That makes it ionic. The silver, the metal, is going to transfer electrons to the nonmetals. So we write Ag, and then we'll write NO3. Silver has one valence electron, and typically it has a plus one charge. So the silver is going to transfer that one electron to the NO3. Because silver loses an electron, it transfers it, and electrons are negative, that makes silver one plus. The nitrate, it gets that electron, that valence electron, and it has a negative charge. This makes it the nitrate ion. Because we have a plus and a minus, they're attracted, and that's what forms the ionic bond between the silver and the nitrate. Let's replace this NO3 minus here with the Lewis structure. So now we have a Lewis structure for the nitrate ion, and then we have our silver cation here. We should put brackets around the nitrate ion, and you'll sometimes see brackets around the cation, the positive metal ion. And that makes this the Lewis structure for AgNO3, silver 1 nitrate. Do note that AgNO3 is a crystal, and it's made up of a bunch of these regularly repeating formula units. What we've drawn is just one formula unit that fits together to make that larger crystal. This is Dr. V, and thanks for watching.